Hey guys, Marty up north here, uh, mid-January 2018. Happy New Year, everyone. This video is uh, actually, look at what I got here with me. I got a, a new uh, a new review product from ThruNight. Um, uh, ThruNight are makers of LED flashlight. I mean, if you're watching this video, you obviously have an interest in a review of an LED flashlight. But let me tell you a little bit about the relationship that I have with uh, ThruNight. I've been reviewing, uh, I, I've reviewed some of their products uh, three times over the years. This is actually the uh, this is the uh, Archer um, uh, V2 is the first flashlight I reviewed of theirs. And I think the relationship. Well, I don't think I know. The relationship goes back to the fact that in some of my earlier hiking videos, I once commented that I never take a flashlight on hikes, and there was back in the days there was about three reasons for that. I never took flashlights because first of all, they used you know they weigh something and there's batteries, so I don't like bringing something that has a battery, especially if it's going to run out of juice quickly. So old flashlights with incandescent bulbs had a big drawback. They were heavy, they required batteries, and you get about you know two hours of total time out of a flashlight so I so I never didn't like bringing them along the trail with me because they had limited value the second thing is the lights on those things in the good old days for light this big uh, an incandescent bulb had a very small beam and um, and and they were they were cheap and the third reason I didn't bring flashlights on hikes with me is 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 because a lot of times in Alberta where I hike we have long daylight so I don't need the flash I, I don't need a lot of light at night because because um, we have daylight and and if I did need light I, it wasn't worth bringing something that was bulky heavy and required batteries that didn't last very long but that changed when when through night asked me to review this flash flight so this thing you know and if go look at a previous video so this is two years old and this is definitely my favorite flashlight and it you know and I thought it was the state of the art but then over the years I asked them you know they sent me this small pen light and the pen light turned out to be awesome um, and it's super lightweight, but even though it was super lightweight and awesome, I still tended to bring this on my trips. So, so this is my favorite. I reviewed the pen light over the years, and then along the way, they asked me also to review uh, a headlamp. And this headlamp is awesome, and I've had it for a year and a half. And this is my go-to when we go for walks at night, especially in the winter and things like that. So. I'm telling you right now, right up front, all their lights are fantastic and for me they've been tried, true, tested and they work. And I wouldn't review them if I didn't stand behind them 100%. But this thing now, it's been a year since they asked me to review a light and now I'm reviewing this one and this is really the state of the art. We're gonna, and I'm gonna show you why. It's got all the features of the other lights. It's, uh, it's compact but it's got a couple of neat features and we're gonna talk about those when I review this in detail. Okay, so here's the box. Here's what you get in the box. And it's actually not a true, true unboxing because I've opened this box before. I've had the light for about a week. I've been using it for a week. I have done a true unboxing where I hadn't even reviewed anything. Uh, but unfortunately, a couple of days ago, somebody stole my laptop. So all my original footage of the true unboxing is gone. But let's pretend this is an unboxing. So here's what you get when you open the box. In, uh, in, 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 is in true night fashion, it's always a nice package. So what you get in a package in this case is you get a, you get the light itself. I've already attached the lanyard. And I'll just put it aside. And then you get, of course, you get your instructions. You get, um, in this case, you get a nice belt holder. Um, the light fits really nicely in the, in the holder. And you can uh, uh, attach it to your belt. And then you get, always get a little accessory pack. So in the accessory pack in this one, you get a couple of O-rings, a spare lens, and then you get these interesting, um, these interesting rings. And I'll talk about those in a second. And then you get this weird thing here. You get a cable. So why would you get a cable in the package? Well, I'll tell you why you get a cable. So. You know, if I look at the two, uh, this is again, this is until now my favorite uh, through night light, the, the Archer V2. Uh, so these two are about the same size, but from the title of this video, you'll see that there is a unique feature on this lamp. There is a USB port. So this is, oops, I turned it on accidentally. This is a rechargeable light. Sorry, I don't want to turn it on. So now the the light, let me just uh, show you what else comes with it. 
Actually, you get you get the uh, the lens end with the, um, uh, the the controls. It actually comes with through nights 3400 milliamp. And that's a lot of uh, 3.6 volt battery. So this is a rechargeable battery. Uh, this is the second one of these that I have. Actually, it's the same battery in the headlamp. And and actually, this this light is comes in three pieces. So you could. Uh, you, you could make a shorter, smaller lens or a smaller flashlight and use, uh, they make a model of a battery that's half the size of this one. So if you got the half size battery, you can make the light smaller, but you'd sacrifice a little bit of, um, uh, of uh, run time. But right now, so configured as is, it's configured with their 3400 milliamp hour lamp, or uh, sorry, battery, and um, which is a rechargeable battery. So uh, it comes right now charged. So the from the factory it's charged. The the controls are fairly intuitive. I'll talk about the controls in a bit. But as you as you turn it on, the other nice feature you see is there's a there's an LED there. It's blue right now, which indicates that this is a full, close to 3.6 volt charge. Now the controls are fairly intuitive, uh, like most of their lamps, on, off. A couple of features. Now this one, uh, right now, it comes on at the intensity that you last had it on. So this, I'm not gonna stare at it, but this is sort of the, uh, the high mode, they call it. If I click it on and hold it while I click it on, it's gonna go to Firefly mode. So now, you know, I, I, I can safely shine that to the camera. It's on Firefly mode, which is not a lot of light. And then if I hold it down, it goes to the, the the high mode and then if I hold it down a long time now it's in the now actually you can see the intensity climbing 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 whoops it blinked because it was almost going into the strobe mode but right now it is in the in the ultra high mode um, so so there's a firefly mode and then you can turn it on to low and and hold the press the button and go all through a range until you get to ultra high or or you can double click and get to ultra high quickly. And actually if I hold it down, now it's gonna go back down to the low mode and vice versa, I can hold it and bring it back up to the high mode. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna go down to low mode and then I can double click and quickly get to high mode. So now it's in high mode. And if I wanna go in uh, strobe mode, I hold it down while I'm in high mode. Sorry, double click, and there it is. Now it's in strobe mode. So um, we'll we'll go. Uh, you know, I'll go outside tonight. Uh, there's no moon predicted, and then I'll shine this out in the yard, and I'll show you just how powerful this light is. You know, this is in the uh, uh, in the 1100 uh, lumens range. Okay, now I want to show a couple of interesting features. Um, because it came with a it came with a USB cable, so micro USB. So I'm gonna plug the micro USB in there. Sorry, I'm got it upside down. Okay, so now it's plugged. And actually, I have several alternatives. I could plug this into a laptop. I could plug this into a 12 volt uh, in my car. I could plug it into a 120 volt adapter. But just to show right now, this is my own power supply. And if I plug it into a power supply, so the light comes on, when it's plugged into a power supply, suddenly this is blue and it's now charging from the power supply. But the interesting thing is that if I disconnect the power supply, not only does this become a light, but in effect it reverses and once this is charged, this can become a power supply that could charge my phone. So I'll, I'll, sh I'll show that in a minute. Um, and, and then to prove that it's actually charging from there, I'll show you, I'll, I'll do an interesting experiment. Well, it's not an experiment, but if I open it up and I remove the battery, now it's plugged, but because it's plugged into an external power supply, I actually have a light. Now it's, it's not going to a high mode or anything like that because there's just not a lot of current. And actually the way it's showing it, it's showing as blinking red right there. So, you know, the, 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 the brains of the flashlight thinks that it's got a very low uh, charge, which it does. And actually when I put this battery back in, there won't be much charging. I think it'll be red because it'll indicate that it's, 
yeah, by indicating red, it knows that it's already fully charged. So this isn't doing anything right now, but I'm just demonstrating that it can be charged from, it's very flexible how it can be charged. And once it's charged, it also becomes a source of energy. Well, there you can see it. it's plugged into my laptop. And if you look up close, it's the, the uh, indicator light is red, which means it's a full charge right now. So that's one way you can charge it. You saw also earlier that I can charge it by plug it into uh, so in this a power configuration, cell. I got the flashlight, the little cable, and I can actually charge it into uh, a 120 outlet. And right now you can see it's showing red and it's charging. So that's one configuration. Another way to charge it is is one of these um, um, adapters. So this is, uh, you know, it's got many USB connections, uh, different amperages. So you plug it into the uh, 12 volt port in your car. You know, we used to call that a cigarette lighter. And then, and then you can uh, plug it in there. And now you're, you know, again, you're, you're charging your light. The car's not on, so the the light's not on. But you know, if you're if you're late late um, leaving the house, then uh, and you're on your way to the field, you just um, or on your way to your hike, you got an hour of driving before you get to your trailhead. You just plug your light in your cigarette lighter and charge it, and then it's fully charged by the time you get there. Just I just wanted to videotape uh, from my deck, show the distance to uh, my shop and the truck and the trailer over there. So it's. Uh, about 75 yards give or take so just wanted to show it in the daylight because uh, as part of this video I'm going to show you the capabilities of this light and some of the other lights. I'm outside it's, it's actually there's there's glow from the city tonight and there's a crescent moon over there but I'm going to just show you anyways the capability of this flashlight okay okay so right now when I turn it on it's on firefly mode and then I double click it or I, I hold it down and now it's on high mode and flashing along the walls here you can see the house and everything's good but but earlier in the video I showed the shop over there you can't see the shop now if I double click now it's on super high mode and look at that so on high mode the shop is 75 yards you can see the trailer over there you can see the truck next to the trailer the picnic tables can pretty much see the whole yard perfectly I'm just gonna if I shine it on myself actually I don't even like doing that because that is an amazing amount of light now if I hold it down I press it and hold actually I can press it again and it'll go to strobe mode which would be annoying for the traffic over there but if I hold it down then it diminishes intensity through a whole range of of uh, of lumens, so it goes from low to high, and an infinite amount of ranges. And so now I'm on low, and then I'm going to hold the button down, and then it's going to come back up. So it's coming back up to high intensity, and then uh, so now it's on high. But the fastest way to get to high and low is to double click. So. Anyways, it's a quick video of this one, and uh, it, like like I said, it's one of the most, the, this light is absolutely amazing. It's got all the features that you want. It's bulletproof, it's uh, robust, it's waterproof, shockproof, has 1100 lumens, has a variable range of intensities, is rechargeable. It's everything you need in a flashlight. All right, so there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, it is a, so this, this uh, Neutron 2C it is the state of the art when it comes to flashlights you know it's led it's small it's extremely powerful it's rechargeable it's usb rechargeable it's impact resistant it's waterproof uh you know it's it's got an intuitive um uh, user interface uh it's robust it, it's all the things so this this is fantastic so uh highly recommend this light or any light in the brand. In fact, I want to talk real quick about the different lights that I've reviewed over the years. So, Stop. like I said, this is the newest one. This is state of the art. The the, the first light that I received from through night is is this uh, Archer V2. 
which uh, is well worn. This one is always in, in my pack. So as soon as I come back from a trip, it goes back in my pack. So this is the one I actually started taking on packs. Um, because, like I said, I, I didn't used to bring a light because I had extra daylight, you know, hiking in Alberta. But now this is so lightweight and so efficient and so reliable that you might as well have it. So if I'm at late at night, I can hang it in my tent and I'm not worried about conserving power and I can use it to read a book and stuff like that. This is definitely still my go-to uh, light uh, for the size and everything. And, uh, for a lot of reasons and then like I said uh, at, at one point they asked me you know they wanted me to keep reviewing lights and what I asked them is I said well then send me the smallest thing you got so the TI3 the the pen light um, it's actually very small and um, but I, I don't take it hiking I actually leave it in my hunting pack and other things this is sort of a, become an emergency go-to so uh, but still love it and then, and then the third light that they had asked me to review was this all-powerful, um, the the TH10, which is uh, in my closet uh, on my shelf. This is the one that uh, this is the one we use when we go for walks at night, and this is actually the one also when I'm working in my shop and I'm working on a piece of equipment like an ATV or snowmobile. Even though I have lighting in my shop, I put it on my forehead and then I can quickly see. So, And this is a powerful, powerful sucker. And so this one is a little bit bigger and I think where is this going to sit in the, in the grand scheme of things? Um, I think where this one is going to sit is this is the one that's going to be in the kitchen that we're going to use every day when we need it. And But I also think this is the one that's going to end up in when I do family trips, a canoe trip or a camping trip or something where we're less concerned about weight because there's a group of us sharing. So if I go on a family trip, this is the one that's going to come with us. This is, uh, you know, 1100 lumens of power. Uh, it's fantastic. It's rechargeable. It's everything. So hope you enjoyed the uh, review. It's uh, mid-January from uh, Calgary, Alberta. Marty up north saying uh, keep watching. Thanks, folks.